Hello, this is a short tutorial to just remind myself more than anyone else how to use the UMG list view widget in Unreal Engine 4, which is less than intuitive. Uh, I want to display a little bit of data in a list view widget and see if I can, how I update that data as well. So let me just first define the data that I want to actually hold. So I'm going to make a structure called SData and I am going to add to that image which is going to be a texture 2d and it's going to have some text and let's just set the defaults to be apple those are the uh, images that i have in that images folder I've got some fruit great so now we've got a data structure how do I show this in a list view widget? Well, let's start. Let's create a list view widget blueprint. And it's just going to simply have a list view in it called my list view. And let's add a function here, which is going to be add data to list and let's make this take an input called new data no, space that would be terrible and this is going to be an s data type and now I want to grab this and I want to add an item so add item takes an object so when I go like this it does not work. So what I actually need to do is I need to create an object that holds my data that I can pass to my list view. So let's let's go and go at that. Let's make a new blueprint class, except this time it's just going to be from object, and we're going to call this u data. And now u data is just going to have a single variable called data, and it's going to be of type s data compile that and that looks good so now what I can do when I do add data to list here is I can take my new data I can construct an object from class the object from class it's going to be u data just reference self here and now this u data is what's going to go and be added to my list. Now the only thing I need to do here as well is just take this and set the data on this to be what's going in here. Now let's go to the actual widget that's displaying this. Oh, still a compiling error and that's because here I need to set my entry widget class. The entry widget class is the class that is displayed for each entry inside the list widget, and we haven't actually defined that yet. So let me create a new widget blueprint called um, list view entry, and we are going to not need a canvas panel here we are just going to need a horizontal box and then to that horizontal box we're going to add an image creatively named my image and we're going to add some text creatively named my text and we will just take my image and make that fill and now here in our class settings we need to add the user object list entry interface, which makes it compatible with the list view widget or the list, yeah, the list view widget. And it uh, provides us with this um, event that we need to implement. So I'm going to implement that function. And here you can see it gets this object, which is supplied by the add item method. So when we get this, 
need to cast this to U data. And then we can promote this to a variable and store it. And this is going to be our item data. So basically, we're getting our struct when we add data to the list. We're creating a UData object so that we can actually pass it to the list. When this happens, the add item uh, functionality is creating an instance of this list view entry and calling set object. Now in our designer over here, we can bind, let's just compile this. We should now be able to bind to item data, data image. And our text, we should be able to bind to item data, data text. And we still need to set our entry class, list view entry. And there we go. And you can see there, we just need to also size to contents. And that gives us a preview of, of what it looks like when all these entries are added. So that's good. So why don't we just add this to our level? And the easiest way to do that is the level blueprint. It's not the correct way to do it but it's the easiest way to do it and it's the way that i'm going to do it now so i'm going to create a widget the widget class is going to be this view widget i'm going to do this at start and i'm just going to get the player controller here very bad habit to get play index naught but nonetheless let's just save this variable so we know my widget is there and now let's add this to the viewport. Okay, so now we've got a widget on the viewport, but we don't actually have um, any way of populating that widget. Oh, let's just say this is demo map. So I'm going to add a function here called add data to the list. Add, no, let's add struct to list. And now we are, the input is going to be uh, new data, which is going to be of type a struct or a data, sorry, which is a struct. Now we want to keep track of these so that we don't just have our widget controlling. Imagine if this is an inventory and instead of using the level editor, I'm actually using the player controller. I still want to keep track of adding something to my inventory. So let's just make a, um, a data array here and the type is going to be S data and it's going to be an array and so when we get this I'm just going to add this new data to this array so we've added it to the array now we'll get the widget and we will add data to list Now in our event graph, we'll just do some keys. And when I press one, I want to add an apple to my list. So how do I do that? I'm going to call add struct to list. I'm going to make this data here. The defaults are apple, so that's good. So that's going to add that to the list. And let's have another key to add a plum. So two, let's add a plum. What happens? One, two, one, two, apple plum, apple plum. Pretty cool. That's awesome. So now um, let me, I want to update this. So let's imagine in this fictional world that um, this is my inventory. And when I press three, I want to change an item in my inventory to a lemon. And I'm just going to get the first um, item in my array. And I'm going to set uh, I'm 
set members. I'm going to change this to a lemon. Okay, so this would be cool. Add an apple, add a plum, add an apple, add a plum. Press number three. Ah, suck ass. It does not work. And the reason it doesn't work is because I'm using a struct. And structs are passed by the value, whereas objects are passed by reference. Uh, and that's an interesting thing to investigate. So what happens is I have uh, my data here. And when I'm adding it to this uh, this U data effectively there, it's making a copy of that. So this data here that's currently in my widget is no longer has any link back to the data that I have in this data array. So that's not really such a good solution because I want to be able to change this array here and I want it to reflect in my widget. So let's look at another way of doing it. Let's do an object array. So instead of creating our, what should we call it, our like outer object here in the widget, Let's create it here and store it here. So let's make an object array. And this is going to be of you object. Not you object, you data. God damn. And now let's make another function called add object to list. Now add object to list is also going to take new data in the form of s data. But this time, we are going to uh, construct an object from class uData here. And then we are going to add this to our object array. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the data on this. And then what we can do is we are going to add this to. Now we need a new uh, function on my widget um, because we've got add data to list. So now let's add object to list. And this is going to take u data. So new object. Now this is pretty easy because we can just pass this U object straight to our list view. Cool. Let's go back here. Add object to list. Now let's go back and see instead of adding Struct to list will now add the same object to list. And this is where the magic happens. So let's get rid of this. Let's get our object array and get the first element and get the data from that. And let's try and set this data to be a lemon. Oh, will it work? Let's see. Apple plum, apple plum, lemon! Yeah, it works. So that's cool. So now this object array here is directly updating my list view in my widget with no extra work required. Thanks. Bye.